Well, AOC and the Democrats seem to be sad, seem to be mad. Let's see what they're talking about. This morning, the Trump campaign is playing cleanup, trying to distance the campaign and the candidate from comments made from the stage at his big rally yesterday here in New York. Comedian Tony Hinchcliffe was among the warm-up acts to speak, and here's what he said. I welcome migrants to the United States of America with open arms. And by open arms, I mean like this. These Latinos, they love making babies too. Just know that. They do. They do. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Joining us right now, Democratic Congresswoman from New York, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Thanks for being here. You called this out last night. You were you were stream you were hanging out with Tim Walls. You guys were streaming. Um, you called it out last night. Fresh eyes on it this morning when you see that remark and you see now that comedian responding to you guys. I'll read a bit of it for you. I know you've seen it, but for everyone out there, these people have no sense of humor. While that a vice presidential candidate would take time out of his busy schedule to analyze a joke taken out of context to make it seem racist. I love Puerto Rico and vacation there. I made fun of I made fun of everyone. Watch the whole set. I'm a comedian, Tim. Might be time to change your tampon is what he ends it with. So, yeah, um, it's just jokes, man. I don't know why everybody worried about somebody saying something, hurting feelings. Are we really getting this soft in America or in the world? I mean, we're already kind of soft getting anyway, smoozing up, but we're getting super soft. Somebody makes a joke about something. Oh, it was a joke. I mean, at the point that we have to uh, attack the comedians, we're in trouble talking about freedom of speech what happened to the speech that's free we can't say what we want to say because we worried that we're going to get canceled canceled culture is real let's see what aoc has to say what do you what does it mean today what does it do today you know this honestly isn't really about a comedian this is about the trump campaign this those comments and that individual saying those things on that stage inciting an entire arena of individuals who have been previously incited to commit attacks like the ones we saw on January 6th by people like Donald Trump. None of that was an accident. These campaign events are put together. They are vetted. That language was vetted by the Trump campaign. That that person was approved by the Trump campaign. He uh, no, I don't think so. They're going to go back and say, what jokes are you going to say? Let me read your jokes. Let's see uh, if it's going to offend anyone. I don't think that's the truth. I think she made that up. AOC is one of those people that's kind of, um, I guess we can call it partisan. Is that the right way to say it? Partisan. She's for the left no matter what. They ready for the attack, ready for this. What do you think about this? Is this um, something that you feel that they shouldn't have never said? Or is it something they should have did differently? Should they have done better jokes? Because he did joke about Latinos. I think he even did some jokes about Blacks. He did jokes about everybody. So at what point is everybody a protected class? If you say something about somebody, they're going to be mad at you. Oh, you can't be doing that. <laughs> so what do you think about it? Put, the, put down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share. Also, um, this video is brought to you today by futurecashflowclub.com. The link's down below. Check that out. I will catch you on the next one. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me.